Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to do a question and answer. Some of the questions are gonna be very basic, kind of like a question or get to know me tag. And then some will be questions more in depth regarding my health and things that people have asked on certain videos regarding like my eyesight, my kidneys, things like that. I think this will be fun just so you guys get to know me a little bit. So let's get started. I am 31 years old. I just turned 31 on April 15th. So my birthday is April 15th, 1988. Um, and I am an Aries. I was born in Poland, in Europe. I grew up in New Jersey, and currently I am living in Las Vegas. Um, in the interim, I did live in California for a little bit, um, Northern California and San Jose. For privacy reasons, I'm not gonna say exactly where I work, but I am a cocktail server at a really fun bar. I've been a cocktail server now in Vegas for almost three years. Um, in three different places, but the job I have now, I've been there the longest, and I really, really like it. It's a lot of fun. You meet a ton of different people, and you get to talk to people from all different walks of life, so I really do enjoy that part of it. I am a type one diabetic, and I was diagnosed at the age of four. Uh, for the longest time, I thought I was diagnosed at age two, and I was telling people two, and then I recently found out, um, <laughs> my mom was like, no, you were four. So 27 years now, I've been a diabetic. And I've always been a type one. I was diagnosed um, with juvenile diabetes. I am five, six. I think I'm pretty average, but I wish I was taller. I wanna be like five, 10. Um, I just reminded myself, <laughs> Clueless, where um, Cher won't drink coffee. She says, it'll stop my growth. and I wanna be five, 10 like Cindy Crawford. <laughs> I have been in a relationship with my current boyfriend for a little over four years. Um, we do live together here in Vegas. Um, his name is Doug and I will bring him into some of the videos, but I have to figure out a cool one um, <laughs> to have him do with me. If you guys want to see him, let me know what kind of video you want to see down below and I'll, I'll make him film one with me. <laughs> I only have one brother who is older. He's going to be 35 or four years apart. Um, and then his wife, my sister-in-law, but I have no sisters, just one brother by birth. My favorite color is yellow. It's been yellow since I can remember. I've always absolutely loved the color. My walls when I was in elementary school were yellow in my um, bedroom. And I still love it. I was just bright and happy and, I don't know, all shades of yellow too, even mustard. Mustard yellow, canary yellow, neon yellow, I love all of it. <laughs> I've had, oh man, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven surgeries, I think. And I had a couple cysts removed, um, one from my spine, one from the back of my head, um, one from my shoulder, like ones we got to go in and like remove it and like pack the wound and everything. And then I had um, a really bad staph infection on my leg where they actually went in and they removed 10 millimeters of, of like dead skin, dead like flesh basically. Um, and that was a super deep hole and that kind of, I would have to go back every week and have them like scratch at the bottom of it. So it healed from the bottom up, kind of like a, like they said, like a bullet wound. Um, so you guys can see it. It's healing, but it's right there. I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of like a divot. So that was, yeah, they cut out a bunch of skin and it was a huge hole and it took forever to heal. I think it took a couple months to heal. Um, so yeah, seven surgeries, I think, seven surgeries total. And that's been in the last like <laughs> two years, which is crazy. Um, I'm having my wisdom teeth out in a month. So that's another surgery because they will put me under. So that'll be fun. <laughs> I have a ton of favorite movies. I love Serendipity. That's a good one. Um, I love the Divergent series. I love Step Brothers. <laughs> um, 
Love Actually is such a good movie. I could watch the movie over and over and over again. Um, 13 Going on 30. I used to literally watch that movie every day getting ready for work when it was on Netflix and they took it down because I think I was the only person watching it. <laughs> I don't think I have any like old movie favorites. I do love Beauty and the Beast. I haven't seen the new one, but like the old cartoon, the Disney cartoon, my favorite. She has a big yellow dress. When I was little, I wanted to be a ballerina. And then I always used to like pretend that I worked at a bank, like on my computer. I was just like punch numbers into Excel and like have Monopoly money. And then when I actually worked at a bank, I was like, this is not as fun <laughs> as I expected it to be. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to be like a dancer ballerina. Um, obviously never really got into that. And that would be a problem, especially with my feet being in the condition they are. Well, my one foot really being through all the surgeries and amputations and stuff probably wouldn't work out. But yeah, I think that was my number one. You know, when I was a little girl, where would you want to be? Ballerina. <laughs> my all time favorite song is Last Train Home by The Lost Prophets. That song gives me all types of feels. <laughs> When I hear that song, it just brings me back to like high school, like beginning of high school, like sophomore, freshman, sophomore year. And it like, oh my God, just brings back such great memories. I love that song. But as of more recent songs, um, Young and Beautiful by Lana Del Rey, another one that just like makes me stop dead in my tracks and it brings back like, floods back all these memories. Um, and like my most recent, recent favorite song I would say I really like Medicaid by Gabby Hanna. She's actually a YouTuber. Um, she has a couple songs out, but Medicaid is just beautiful. I love that song. So I can listen to that song over and over and over again. Um, and then I like to listen to a lot of covers, but there's the cover uh, for the Taylor Swift song, Don't Blame Me. Um, I don't know the girl's name. I'll look it up and I'll link it down below, but she does an amazing cover. I used to be really into photography. It was a huge hobby for me. Um, and I kind of shied away from that. I don't really do that much anymore. I used to draw a lot. I used to write a lot. I feel like I have a lot of emotional um, outlets and I feel like I was sad and depressed before and they were like really like, it was coming out of me. Like I was always writing, I was always drawing. And I kind of stopped once I got into like a better place. Um, but now I would say my hobby, honestly, like I don't know that I do like anything crazy. Like I usually, I work and now after work, I try to work on this channel. Um, so yeah, I don't know that I have any hobbies at the moment, which is kind of crazy um, because there's nothing that I really do that like I go out and I do and I really enjoy. I mean, I see friends and I hang out with people, um, but as far as hobbies go, I don't know that I have one right now, which is kind of weird. I should probably get one. <laughs> So a lot of people want to know how my vision is doing. Um, currently, I'm at the best that I've been in a very long time, probably like five years. Um, with my glasses, I read 2040, and I was able to finally get my driver's license. Um, I had my old driver's license from California that was still active, but it expired last week, and I was like, okay, I need to go. I tried doing the eye test like six times, and I failed here in Nevada. And um, because I was always like having trouble in my eyes and I was always out of surgery, I wasn't at my best. So I went last week and I finally passed my test. So exciting. So I got my license. Um, so yeah, 2040 is what I see with glasses, without glasses of like 2050. So it's not a huge improvement, but it's enough to where it's very easy and comfortable for me to drive. Now I still don't have my peripheral vision. I don't, you know, that will never come back unless some type of miracle happens. Um, and then I no longer have floaters, I no longer have flashes. So I used to have floaters and flashes a lot after my surgeries. Um, and then I guess once my retina really healed, um, they stopped. So no floaters, no flashes, no bleeding. I haven't had bleeding, knock on wood, in probably over a year, maybe a year and a half now. I'm not exactly sure, but I've had no bleeding, which is amazing. Because I've noticed that now when I'm, as I'm older, like my eyes hemorrhage, it stays for months. Like it used to be days and it, it would clear up and I'd be fine. Now it's like months, which is crazy. I don't know if it's because I've had the vitrectomies um, and the vitreous jellies, you know, now I have more 
um, of the solution and really take out a lot of the vitreous. I don't know, but it takes months to heal. So um, my vision is doing really, really, really well. And thank you guys so much for checking up on me and, and asking that question because a lot of people want to know how I'm doing and I'm doing really, really, really well. And uh, it feels surreal almost because I went through so much crap in the past couple of years that it feels like now just being normal and having normal life is just such a blessing and it, you know, it's, it's just amazing. I try not to go out to eat because I always spike my blood sugar when I go out to eat because there's always something in there that it's not being accounted for, something you missed, you're kind of guesstimating your carbs. Um, but I would say uh, if I go out to eat, I really, really, really love sushi. Um, and I really love, uh, I love to go out to like legitimately like Applebee's and Chili's. <laughs> it's just so much fun, <laughs> especially when you know people. Um, it's an awesome time. There's a lot of really great restaurants here in Las Vegas that I love. Uh, Bonefish Grill is a sushi restaurant. It's really amazing. Um, there's a place called Bourbon Street out here that's just like a low-key, like little hole-in-the-wall kind of dive bar-ish. But they give you like tokens and you play games and you win prizes, but everything's like $5. Drinks and food is all five bucks. It's really, really yummy. I've been sort of in and out of this working out train. Um, I work, I used to work out four to five times a week. Now I kind of go twice a week. Um, I'm trying to get back into a really good schedule to go before work because I don't work till noon, five days a week. So I have no excuse to not get up at like seven and go to the gym in the morning for an hour. So I'm trying to get back on that schedule, but I go about two days a week now. And I usually just do weights. Um, I do a little bit of cardio at the end, maybe like 10 minutes on the bike, but I do mostly weights. I'm happy when I'm home with my boyfriend and my dogs and it's just a chill night. There's nothing going on. Um, we're not going out. We're not getting dressed up. We're not, I don't have to put on pants. <laughs> like we just hang out. We're sitting on the floor. We're watching a movie, which I don't pay attention to most movies, but like we're watching a movie and talking. I like that. Um, I'm just having like vegging out and just enjoying, enjoying our time together. That, that makes me really happy. My ultimate goal, I really wanna make YouTube a place where I can have this community with people that can help each other, that we can educate each other. Um, eventually I do wanna do motivational speaking. I wanna travel, I wanna to talk to people, I wanna to talk to um, kids in school and just educate people and, and not sugarcoat diabetes, no pun intended, uh, not sugarcoat it the way I feel like some people do, like really go over things and people be like, these are the complications, this sucks, this can happen and it's a real thing, you know? Um, I was telling someone at work the other day about you know, diabetes and the complications of what I've been through and he was like, you just scared the crap out of me. Like, is that gonna happen to me? And I was like, it could. <laughs> if you don't take care of yourself, yeah, absolutely, it could happen to you. But as long as you take care of yourself and you control your blood sugars and you watch what you eat, probably not. But you know, I didn't think it could happen to me and, and I've already had two toe amputations and eye surgeries and I have neuropathy in my feet. Like it happens and it happens quick. So I do wanna just educate people and, and help people help each other. So I'm sure you guys have seen them in the video, but I have two dogs. Well, we have two dogs, um, my boyfriend and I. We have one, his name is Ty. He's a big dog. He's a Rhodesian Ridgeback and Boxer mix. Um, he's gonna be 13, so he's an old man. He's a grumpy old man. And then Merle, who was in my previous video, his little ears sticking up. <laughs> He's my baby. He is, uh, he's a dachshund mixed with something, I don't know, something wild. I swear he's like half jackal um, or coyote, um, but he's, uh, he's my baby. He's going to be four. So they're two very different dogs, but they're little brothers and uh, Ty tolerates Merle. Merle just has a lot of energy, <laughs> but he's a baby. So he's still running around like crazy. I would want to meet Cleopatra. I don't know why. <laughs> I've always had this obsession with like Egyptian times and, and Cleopatra. And uh, I remember one day in middle school, I took a quiz and it said, who are you in your previous life? And it came out Cleopatra. And I was like, I knew it. 
I knew it. I'm obsessed with her for no reason at all. I would love to meet her. I get this question a lot too. So I am on the 670G Thermotronic with the Guardian Sensor um, CGM, the Continuous Glucose Monitor. Honestly, this pump has been pissing me off lately because the alarms have been going off non-stop, like throughout the whole night. It won't even be like an alarm before high or alarm before low. It'll be like an alarm that will say like, enter blood sugar, and I won't need to calibrate. It'll just ask me to enter blood sugar 17 times in one night. And um, like last night I put a new sensor in and it kept saying, calibrate sensor and I would calibrate instead of enter blood sugar, I would enter and then it would say calibrate again and then enter blood sugar just in a loop. And then eventually it, it, it like, it started working and then it said I was low. So I tested and yeah, I was at like 68. And then I corrected, you know, I, I had um, glucose tablets. And then like an hour later it woke me up saying I was at 52 and I checked with the regular blood sugar monitor and I was at 107. So then like five minutes later, it just said change sensor, like the same day. So that was a de defective sensor. And I've been getting a lot of those. I just feel like, this pump has been really frustrating to me lately and I still have two years with this pump or two and a half years with this pump. So I'm trying to figure out eventually what I wanna do and if I wanna change pumps and what kind of technology will be out there in two years because it could change, but that's the pump I'm on currently. I never had issues with it, but lately it's just been really frustrating with all the alarms going off 7 million times. Um, but I just received a new sensor or a new transmitter in the mail that's supposed to be, um, I think it's called, like the link, the Guardian link. Um, so I'm gonna do a video on that and see if that, I think they were saying that that's supposed to calm down the like random alarms. So hopefully, you know, once I change that sensor next week, um, I'm gonna try the new one and see how that works. So I'm trying to cut out coffee completely. I'm down to like two coffees a week where I used to be drinking like four coffees a day. Um, but my most recent uh, discovery is the coffee frappuccino with heavy cream instead of milk and sugar-free vanilla instead of the regular sweetener. Um, it doesn't spike my blood sugar at all, maybe like a tiny, tiny bit, so I have to bowl this like half a unit for it. But it's amazing and it's getting like really, really hot here in the desert. Um, during the day it's hitting like in the 90s now. So it's so yummy because it's a frozen drink, like it's blended, but it's not like a frappuccino with a ton of sugar in it, it's just regular coffee with ice blended with the whipping cream and sugar-free vanilla. It's so, so, so good. So somebody was asking me um, about my tattoos and what they mean. I do want to do a separate video on that. I have five tattoos and I can go in depth into what they mean because they do mean a lot to me. So I do want to do that in a separate video, but I'll have that coming really, really, really soon. But I do have five. I have one here, I have one here, I have one on my ribs, one on my hip, and one all the way down my spine. Um, and then uh, they all mean something different. They all have, you know, important meanings to me. My favorite food would have to be, um, lately I've been loving just having avocado, tomato, and crab meat like in a salad with lemon juice. Oh my God, it's so good. And then I also love just making um, hamburgers and putting cheese on top and then like an avocado, like making my own guacamole and then like tomato and cucumber and just stacking it up with no bun, obviously, because it's not keto, but just having like a huge burger like that. Oh my gosh, it's so, so, so good. I've been getting this question a lot too. People want to know if I was awake during my eye surgeries. Um, so I wanted to address it here. Uh, I was not. So the only eye surgeries I was awake for was my cataract surgeries because they sedate you, but you're still awake, but very comfortable. But as far as my retina surgeries, um, they are very invasive. So they put you under pretty um, heavy sedation. So <clears throat> those ones, I was asleep for both. The only surgery, like I said, that I was awake for is the two cataract surgeries. And then my first amputation, I actually requested to be awake. Um, and they make sure you're very, very comfortable and you don't feel any pain. But I like the fact that I don't have to wake up from that anesthesia and be like super groggy. After my eye surgeries, it was the most groggy I've ever been. And it was so scary because I couldn't see anything. Like my nose was stuffed up, my throat hurt, the breathing tube. So it was very uncomfortable, like waking up from it. 
one tip that I have for people who are either diabetic or going through an illness or have kidney disease or whatever it may be, um, it's not too late to start taking care of yourself. You can receive bad news from doctors all day long, but it's up to you to turn it around. It is never too late to start taking care of yourself. It might feel like, oh, I should have done this a long time ago, but big picture, imagine if you hadn't started today. So don't ever feel defeated. Don't ever feel like you can't win. Don't ever feel like you can't do anything to turn it around because you can. You need to start today and you need to keep working hard at it because it's not easy. It's not going to happen overnight. And you know, sometimes you won't have people helping you. You have to do it on your own. But whatever it may be, just keep going. Do it for yourself before you do it for anybody else. Um, that would be my biggest tip. And you know, I always say if I could go back and tell my 15 year old self to change this or change that, I would. But at the same time, the things I've been through have taught me so much that I don't think I would change them if I had the chance. I think I would want to be the person I am today and what I've been through has really molded me and taught me um, how to be the person I am and to do the things I'm doing and to be responsible. So guys, that's it for today. Um, I hope I answered some of the questions that you were wondering. It was definitely a fun video. Like I said, I have a few more coming that I mentioned in this video that I want to do for you guys. Um, I don't want to make this video forever long, but thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, leave me your comments, your love. I love talking to you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.